when I was a kid, I was raised in, in Northridge, in New York City. And uh, the Warner Brothers built us a gym right on the grounds, a brand new gymnasium. So, uh, well, in, 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 in the new gym, you know, you play basketball or uh, do wall exercises or, or put on the gloves, which were always available. Correspondence all over the world, you know, out there, and um, we traded stuff off, you know. You now you were working with Sports Illustrated a little bit, weren't you, for a while? Well, for 23 years, I was a boxing consultant. would you say you have? It, it would number into the millions. The newspaper clipping is a document. But a newspaper clip, clipping from the 1870s is a very fascinating document for me. How many volumes do you have? Um, we estimate that there are probably somewhere between 1750 and, um, and 1800 uh, different titles. I have a book that dates back to 1812, for example, Smeaton's Boxiana. Posters, champs, posters, lunches, uh, signed posters, George Foreman, Joe Frazier posters, Ellie posters, more posters in here, wow. all signed. Uh, and that's signed by all the, uh, the yeah, fighters and the promoters? Yeah, Joey Giardello, Angelo, Archie Moore. Billy Pup. I would say that the one can only view through your camera about one tenth of one percent of the entire collection. It will take years to actually look at everything and examine everything. How do you want this collection to be used and maintained? Yeah, I would like to see it in an institution that specializes in, in research. I would like to see it put in a separate structure, which would be a library and research center specifically for the sport of boxing. 